Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna give you a quick overview, it's long overdue, of our little 16 foot Quest Edge 816 pontoon. Made by Apex Marine. It's a 2019 model that we got last year. And it's perfect for us. It's just us two and our son and our dog. And we didn't, we were looking at much bigger boats, but this, I'll tell you what, I'd recommend it to anybody because it serves a purpose. It's easy to tow. It's not too big. You have to clean it all the time. You don't have to spend hours and hours and hours cleaning it. Um, but I'll go through some of the features. Um, one of my favorite right there is a table four cup holders and as you can see in the back on the floor there there's another table I just didn't pull it out nice big pontoons I can't remember the inch of the pontoons but um, as you walk on this also has plenty of storage nice comfortable seats kind of a lounge chair here a lot of cup holders a lot of cup holders there one here there's one in the back corner here. So along with the table or tables that you put here, you got plenty of storage for cups and drinks and sodas and waters and beer and wine. Um, a lot of storage. We keep a little trash can and a fire hydrant here. That's in front of the console. Plenty of storage there. Don't mind, everything's a mess, it's dirty. We've been camping all week. So first thing, Brandon's gotta clean it. Other storage here, life vests, first aid. More storage in the back. The only thing I don't like, and eventually I think I'm gonna put some hinges on this back seat. I take it off to be safe and put it in the back of the truck when we're going down the road. Um, but you got storage back here, two batteries. My favorite thing they put in this, they put in a switch. You can turn it off and lock it so nobody tries and jump start it or steal it or whatever. You can run both batteries, one or two or all. More storage here in front of it. What I like too, they put these black mats in here. It kind of keeps stuff elevated off the floor. So if it does get wet, it doesn't get moldy. It has air, and you know, it has air vents underneath the seats. You can see, so you can get airflow and stuff won't get musty and moldy. Uh, center console, I did take off. There's a tiny little windshield here, tiny little windshield. I wanted to mount my fish finder and GPS. It's just a little hummingbird, Helix 3. Nothing special, just something I could get my way around. Keep track of your RPMs and your voltage. No speedometer, I get that from the GPS. Um, you got your horn. Well, I don't have the battery on, but. Navigation anchor lights, courtesy light. One courtesy light that is located right there. ACC stereo and another ACC. I ran this one for the fish finder. Easy hookup, just put take this panel off, put the wires in, run one to the battery, and you're good. Stereo, Bluetooth, USB and auxiliary input, radio. Um, you got another two USB ports over here. Came with the RAM mount, love that thing. Put your phone right there and it doesn't move at all. The only thing one day I'm going to, it only came with two speakers. They're loud, they're loud enough when you're parked, they work just fine. If I'm going full speed down the lake, you better have it on max volume and be lucky to hear it. I mean, you could hear it, but I would recommend maybe upgrading in the future, that's nothing right away. Don't need it. Just so you can hear it as your motor's going. Um, to the motor. 2019, 50 horsepower Honda, four stroke.
probably the most fuel efficient four stroke ever. We've been camping and boating since this past Sunday and today's Thursday. And I think I only went through about nine gallons of gas, spending all day on the lake. Here's your throttle control. Two more cup holders there by the console. And if you're going full speed, just me and the wife, me and Tracy, it'll go about 22 miles per hour. Um, if there's not a lot of wind, and that's all. That's all. I'm not, I didn't buy a pontoon to go fast. Just wanted to enjoy it and cruise around the lake. And that's it. There's a front entry. And, you know, the t if the table's up, you can't open a gate all the way, which is fine because it has another side entry here. A little side entry. And it has a small back gate right here, which I always use when I fish out there. Of course, I've, of course I've got a line in the water. You always have a line in the water. Back here, you got your gas tank. It came with a 12 gallon, came with a 12 gallon gas tank. You could probably upgrade it if you wanted. There's plenty of room in there, but of course you're adding more weight. Um, and you only need 12 gallons if you're if you're going out. Like I said, the, the, that 50 horsepower Honda is is super fuel efficient, so I love it. Um, no real complaints. Um, your capacity ratings are going to be right here. Seven persons are about a thousand pounds, thousand twenty pounds, which is fine. We've had um, we've had seven people on here before. And the only thing, it bogs you down. You're cruising about 12, 14 miles per hour, which is fine also. You bring some friends and family out, have a good time, just cruise. Um, the top, it, it needs to be cleaned from storage. It, it came with a cover, it, it wraps up, um, straps to hold it down. I don't really have any complaints about this boat. We love it. Um, plenty of storage, came with the Bluetooth, speakers and nice storage area for the gas tank two batteries um it rides smooth i mean it, it's as quiet as it's going to get for a 50 horsepower mounted on there aluminum ladder off the back um if you want to swim take a dip if you're hot i um, thought about putting some seats back here there's some room but don't want to clog up here and if you put a seat there you'd be falling off and maybe in the future maybe like a little bar stool seat um that's it that's our little pontoon i don't foresee us ever getting rid of it because we love it so much and if you have any questions or comments drop them below hit that like and subscribe button and We'll talk to you next time.